Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Rides. It's the time of year again where every single thing I've ever pre-ordered has arrived at once. So I think, you know, as a treat again, as a treat for hitting another word count girl, I would like to open them with you. So all except one from Waterstones, there are another two that I have unboxed already because the anticipation was too high, which I would include just for the sake of showing off re recent releases as well that I loved or will love. But also this one at the bottom is like the single biggest package I've ever received from Waterstones. We might, we might say that one for last. The first very exciting package I got was Icarus, which I wasn't expecting to get this so soon because it's currently middle of May we're filming this. Pretty much all of these arrived between like May 7th and 10th. They were meant to be like US releases, but the UK release date was two months later. So this like this came out in March. I didn't get it to May because of the whole release date thing. So I opened this because I, the anticipation was high. I am like. I would like to say I'm the number one Cancun fan, I probably am not, but anything this woman re writes, auto buy for me. Anything, and I mean that. So I ordered this one because it's like a loose Icarus reimagining, I thought, you know, I need that, I need that. My actual issue with the book is that this is the first time I've also had a order arrive damaged. I sent an email and they've like replied to me with the return address and I don't think I could just be bothered to return it at this point. I did read it straight away and then a few days later I had my lovely Rainbow Crate copy arrive so that I do have another copy. It's just disappointing that books really are just made of cardboard. But no, I gave this five stars. By the time this comes out, the review may or may not be up, but I loved it. It's wonderful and it is the most K Ankrum thing K Ankrum has ever written. The next pre-order I had arrived recently is one that I had to like set a little notification for, you know, just in case, because it was a Waterstones exclusive edition and it was sold out and they said, oh, notify me if more come available. And I thought, yeah, I'll hit that button because they'll never become available. And then they did. This is Willow Dark Stand still. I'll put up the US cover here because it's gorgeous as well. And that will probably be the one you recognize a lot more than this one. But the thing that, you know, made me go for the special edition rather than the, the standard edition. The edges, obviously. And the spinalness is beautiful. I think we need a lot more appreciation for the book's spines in the world because that is the thing you see all the time and like yeah sure covers beautiful but this 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 is where it's at this one i was drawn to because you know it's got spooky forest vibes so again auto buy for me it's also got polish folklore which i haven't read before and as i have a fondness for a lot of polish people in my life i feel like you know let's do some learning this is an educational read <laughs> it's really not it's probably not going to be and then the, okay the hardcover case is not shiny but it's got like the deer stag head here the spine is again beautiful and it's a bus is that a butterfly? It's a butterfly on the back. And I'm glad that it is shiny, like a case laminate rather than cloth bound, because I can't stand the texture of cloth bound things. Like I'm someone who will read books with the dust jacket on. So I'm glad that this is a nice smooth option that I love. We'll go for the one Amazon one next, because I know what this is on the top of my head. This is Dear Wendy by author I can't remember the name of. This is I think a book that came out in April. Amazon was also the only place I could pre-order it in the UK that I found at the time, which was again months after the pre-order released. So I don't know if this is just like a US, only a US release so far, like we'll see, we'll see. But Dear Wendy is the book with a romantic name, such a representation, and as that is those my identities, I had to have it. Is this going to open for me today? To an extent. It's very pretty. And it has got like the aromantic like colours, like the purple and the green on there. Alice Oseman recommends it, and I think this might have like slight Alice Oseman energy, and as that is an author over here somewhere, I am referencing a lot in something I'm currently writing. I feel like this is going to be very inspirational, and again, an educational read. Ooh, we've got some green on the inside, and that's... Okay, then like the case is plain. It's, it's got more of like the, a papery texture than the actual cloth I want, so that's bearable. A little shiny on the side. Is it wrap around? It's not wrap around up, but like the colour schemes there is perfect, it's beautiful. I'm seeing a lot of little lines on here, and as, you know, I am someone who put a lot of black pages in my own book, so this is fun, distinct to me. Let's have a look at what it is. Oh, I think it's like blog posts or texts or... <gasps> There's texts in this book, that's fun. Where's that page gone? Where's that page gone that I just saw? Text in the book. The book I'm currently writing again has text in it. This is like a fun way of seeing like how are we laying this out. I might read this today. We'll see. I feel like it's going to be very beneficial to me right now, immediately to read. Let's go for my one small one. Ooh, 
This is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. I believe on the app, I got an, or on the email, I got an, definitely got an email about this saying that this is like a plus members exclusive edition. It's got like nothing, it is signed by the author, it's got nothing special about it. Let's, let's, familiar, let's read my packing slip. Okay, it's just a signed edition. I'm going to check my order again and see if there's meant to be like anything special. Because I don't remember if there was like a special sprayed edges version on the website or if this was just, or just a signed version. But I believe I did click on the link and pre-order this in the end. Because first of all, I love her writing. As much as I'm not enjoying my Shadow and Bone reread right now, I love her writing. But I did get it because it was promoted as a plus exclusive edition. Yeah, it's time Bali author. I also have no idea what this book is actually about. Duh. It's got it's got end papers. Yeah. That's fine. On the packing slip it does just say signed edition. So I'm gonna do some investigating. But if just being signed makes it plus exclusive, I'm not overly impressed. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not. And now, the big guy. I will tell you what this is before I opened it, because I was wondering how they're gonna ship this. These are the other three, the new Samantha Shannon's like author to revert text and revised editions of the Bone Season. I have somewhere up here, it's probably right up here because I can see Priories there. I have the Bone Season, I got it already. So I got, you know, the other three to complete the set. And I will confess, I have never read a word that this woman has written. I have like a deep fixation with her because she did a book like signing an event in my uni town, which was, is Falmouth in Cornwall. It's such a niche, weird town for an author to choose. So obviously I went because no one like notably like big and famous ever comes out, really comes to the southwest of England in general. So I went and she's such an engaging speaker that I'm just captivated by the mere existence of her. And she made a point to talk about the asexual representation in, I don't remember if it's in Priory or Day of Fallen Night, because it was at the event for A Day of Fallen Night. So this woman, anything for you, I will buy your giant books. So yeah, this is big because it's three hardcovers. And I, was one, and I was wondering how, what package they would use for this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They're like jenga in here. Oh, they're damaged. I'll show you what's going on. The corner's been like wedged in against another book. So. So we have the Mime Order. I need to check what all these books go in. The Mime Order is the second one. So the way that this one's been packaged, this is gorgeous by the way. I'm so glad that with the like, cover redesigns they went with the artist of Priory and Dear Fallen Light. Just so that you know there's some cohesion here and it is to, like a great tribute to the original covers as well. So this one's a bit crumpled around the edges and it's been like torn at the bottom. And sure, I would send these back to get new copies, but I don't know if I can be bothered once again, because this is a big package. I'll check if it's like a free thing to do and then we'll, we'll reassess. Yes. Okay, play on the inside. It's the cloth bound texture that I hate, so we'll be reading this with jacket on. And let's, let's admire, let's admire that jacket. It's beautiful. And even if I never get around to reading these, which I think I might. I, well, I will. I will. If it's any time in the next five years, I don't know. But I will read them. But these are going to look something all lined up together on my shelf. If I can somehow read them all and like that will line up nicely with the release of the fifth one, even better. And then I think the next one is The Song Rising. I think it might be The Little Guy compared to The Absolute Mammoth of the other books. This one looks intact. This one's fine. Oh. It's got some like, you can try to find an angle, you can see it here, yeah. You can see there's like some dents in there, but like that's, that's fine, I guess, I guess. But again, beautiful, stunning, show-stopping, and the colour scheme of the end papers matches. It's got like a little design there, it's cute, it's, it's got a nice attention to detail for not even a special edition. These are like the new standard hardcovers. I think it's Forbidden Planet that has the special editions with the beautiful flowery sprayed edges. And it, it kills me every day. I don't have those. Or like the pretty priory editions. But these are still stunning. And then finally, I believe, we have the mask falling. This, I mm, this might be my favourite colour scheme out of the lot. Like the tealy turquoise and the pinky flowers. There's a lot of pink on all these colours. Not a comment, just an observation. 
This one's had the pages, you know, a little, a little bit crushed up. And this was from how it was packaged. <laughs> it was lined up so the corners of the other book were like wedged in there. And I'm a little bit mad. I was going to say because these are expensive. These are about £20 each, but obviously when you're buying all three, that is a large order. This one's beautiful on the inside as well. Let's show off the cover a little bit. Yeah, stunning and gorgeous as expected. No further comments. So in summary, looking at the stack next to me, I've got a haul of books that I know nothing about. I bought purely because the author or Polish folklore and asexuality, which seems good for me. Yeah, <laughs> let's enjoy them together one more time. I'm so weak. I'm trying to be better at not buying books, like especially for pre-orders, because I know how helpful it is for the author. But I'm making an effort this year to read books through the library and then only buy physical copies of books I know I have loved, as I've done recently, but sometimes... Sometimes the urge is just too strong. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I don't come back anytime soon with a book haul because my bank account is suffering. But thank you for watching this and I hope to see you next time. Bye.